Hello people, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite poses for Instagram photos. I am planning to do a video soon on how I take my own photos at home, so stay tuned for that. This video is gonna be all about poses, so before we go ahead and get started, first make sure you hit the subscribe button, especially if you like my videos. That just makes it a little bit easier to find all my videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I actually got this idea because I posted a couple of posing videos on TikTok and they really blew up. So I thought I would bring this video here on YouTube and show you guys some of my favorite poses. Wow, that is a horrible still of me. Anyway, I wanted to preface this video by saying that creating content is my full-time job. Instagram and YouTube is something that I do full time hopefully these poses will be helpful for anyone that is also an aspiring influencer or even if you just want to learn some poses to be more photogenic and look more natural in photos or even if you just want to brush up on your skills so you can take photos of yourself at home all power to you so we're going to start off with half body poses I feel like half body poses are the foundation for any good pose because you're really focusing on your facial expressions, what you're doing with your hands. Once you nail down a good half body pose, it makes it a lot easier to do full body poses a lot more easily. Some of my favorite half body poses are the influencer pose. I call this influencer pose because it's something that I see a lot on Instagram. It's kind of a go-to that a lot of outfit bloggers do. And for me, it's one of my personal favorites because you don't need any props or anything like that. It looks pretty natural and it also helps to elongate your body and makes your arms look really, really slim. When you're posing, you kind of want to make triangle shapes with your arms to your body. Even when you're sitting down you want to have those triangles in the way that your legs are folded this triangle rule applies to so many different poses when you're standing when you're sitting it helps to create a little bit of spacing between your body it just makes a photo look a little bit more interesting and less stiff and awkward looking the second pose that I love to do is hands on the hips this is such a great and easy pose and there's so many different ways that you can change this one around. You can put both hands on your hips, you can put one hand on your hip, you can also pretend like you're laughing. This is another one of those super easy poses that I go to a lot. The next pose is playing with your hair. This is such an easy one. You can kind of combine this with your hand on your hip. You can have one hand running through your hair. You can have both hands running through your hair. You can also turn your body to the side and kind of play with your hair that way. Especially if you're doing like up close beauty shots, this is a great one to do. It also helps to kind of floof up your hair and make the picture a little bit more interesting as well. The fourth pose that I have is to laugh and this is such an easy one. You you can combine this with any of the other poses that I talked about before but it just it automatically makes a picture more likable everyone loves to see a smile especially if you're having your friends or your boyfriend take your photo or you're out in public it's such an easy way to kind of make the photo seem a little bit more natural and so I always like to throw in a couple of smiling photos the last half body pose that I want to share is having your hands over your head this is a great way to kind of change it up in your photos I think it looks really cool when you have your hands over your head and you're kind of looking to the side it just looks like you're not really trying too hard this is something that you do have to kind of practice to make your hands look natural on top of your head just because this is just not something that you do when you're like hanging out I would recommend practicing this pose in front of a mirror and kind of getting down how to make it look the most natural with any pose the more you practice the better it's gonna get I feel like now that we're all stuck at home as well now is the perfect time to kind of practice some of your posing in front of a mirror have your brother your dad your mom your boyfriend help take your photos for you and if you don't have someone you can always take photos on a tripod as well that's what I've been doing for most of my pictures so I am gonna upload a little tutorial on how I take my own photos at home later on so stay tuned for that those are some of my favorite half body poses you can combine those with full body poses one of my favorite full body poses is to incorporate some type of motion so you can act like you're walking. So it kind of almost looks like a candid walking paparazzi shot and I love this pose especially if I have a really cool outfit that I want to show off. It just looks really natural and like I'm not trying too hard and also helps to elongate your legs as well. Second full body pose is to use a prop, whether it's a coffee cup, your purse, or a piece of clothing. Back when I would take photos 
photos outside, I would always have some type of like coffee cup or a glass of wine and that would just be something super easy for me to have something to do with my hands. Also use your purse strap. So if you are holding onto your purse or kind of swinging it back and forth, I think that's also another effective way. I also love to play with clothing. So if I have like sunglasses or jacket, or you can act like you're pulling up your pants or adjusting your jeans, any type of prop that will kind of give your hands something to do will help to make the photo look a little bit more candid. Another pose that I really like is to have one leg in front. So you can kind of combine this with your hands on your hip. It just helps to make your legs look so, so long. So with these full body poses, you want to combine what you learned with the half body poses into these full body ones because it kind of just gives your hands something to do. So if you're doing just like a standstill one, you can kind of have like your hands in your hair. You can have your hands on your hip. Similar to the last pose, another favorite one of my poses is standing to the side and having a leg out. And I just find that this kind of makes my calf muscles pop and look really nice and lean. It also helps to elongate that one leg in the front as well. Also, if I have some cool shoes that I wanna show off the side profile, this is a really great pose. I often combine this with having like a hand on my hip or playing with my purse or some type of prop or accessory. The last full body pose that I wanna share is one leg up and this is kind of a fun, playful pose, especially if you wanna show off a pair of shoes. This is just a great way to do that and kind of show off your outfit in a way that's not super, super boring or generic. Last few poses that I have for you are some sitting poses. I actually wrote out um, some of the notes of the poses that I had and for some reason, the sitting poses, I like drew pictures. I don't even know what some of these are. What even, yeah, I don't know, anyways. Sitting poses are a little bit easier for me just because I feel like there are a little bit more options with what you can do for your hands so it doesn't always feel as awkward as just like a normal standing photos. Whenever there's like a chair or a bench or even sitting on the floor, I like to do that because it just gives me so many more options with what I can do. One of the poses that I really like to do is just to sit on the floor, kind of have my legs almost up to my chest. You can kind of play around with your hands and kind of rest them on your knees, play with your hair, have them on the ground. You want to keep in mind that rule of triangles as well. It just helps to make the picture look a little bit more interesting, helps to elongate your legs and make them look a little bit leaner as well so that's a really great sitting pose that I do a lot another sitting pose that I like is to have one leg down and one leg up with the leg that's up you can kind of play with having your hands on them have your hands on the ground have your hands on the knee that is down this is just a really great laid-back pose it looks like you're not trying hard at all you can also play around with the angles that you're sitting as well to kind of change up the photo another pose that I really like that I think is super cool is if you can find a bench or a chair have both of your feet on the ground and then kind of rest your arms or elbows on your knees. This is also a great pose for men because it just looks super masculine. It looks super, super cool. Like you're just kind of hanging out there. And I love pairing this with like a really cool street style outfit. It just immediately makes the outfit look more badass. The last sitting pose that I want to share is if you're just sitting in a normal chair. I like to normally sit on the edge of any chair because it just helps to show off my outfit a little bit more. You can also sit on like the edge of a table, lean against a wall. Either way, it kind of gives you the same effects. It makes them look super long and interesting versus if you just had your legs straight. Yeah, so those are all the poses that I have. Hope this video was super quick, easy, and helpful. Make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram. Obviously, I post all of my photos on my Instagram. I have lots of inspo pics on there, especially if you guys see a pose that you like. You can always save it and kind of refer back to if you need some inspiration. Also, make sure you follow me on TikTok. I post lots of fun videos on there and we're almost at 200K. I would love for you to join the fam. That is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoy. I do have a makeup tutorial on the same exact look that I'm wearing that I'll go ahead and put right here. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.